Another nice feature is the extension in the web shop to see compliance violation once you just decide about a specific attestation. As you can see in the manager, there is an attestation, there is a compliance rule. This compliance rule is a segregation of duty rule. Uh, people who are in an admin group in LDAP should not be domain admin. And as you can see as well on the right side, there is a rule violation and this rule violation uh, is what we have to look for. Uh, please uh, trust me, there is as well an ongoing out attestation and this ongoing attestation is testing the membership of people in LDAP. So if you want to see that, it's easy to show. We have to step to attestation. There is the LDAP group membership attestation. This is my attestation. And my Herwig should be somewhere in the list, but what we see here, because it's an LDAP group attestation or LDAP groups, and we can see here the, as well the approver, which is Audrey Abello. And so if I just sign in as Audrey, then I should be able to attest something. And I want to show you now that you can see compliance violations in the information for attestation cases. And being there as Audrey, you can see there are yeah, a lot of pending attestations. I just step into. And to show you what I want to show you, the next thing is I have to filter for that specific person with that compliance violation, which is Herwig. And here we are, he's member of a many groups, as you can see. And if I then step here to the compliance tab, which is a new compliance tab, then you can now see that as well, the compliance violation is displayed together to all other information like uh, the standard information, the workflow information, attestation policy information and history information. There is now the compliance tab and here I can then see the compliance violation. Please ensure that it is a compliance violation that fits to that attestation. That means the attestation object and the compliance violation have to accord to each other. Without that, you won't see there something. This is because you should not see compliance violations with are not connected or not depending on that specific attestation. Pretty new as well, a very interesting feature. As you can remember, the standard web portal contains the capability just to manage users. That means employees, and this is typically possible for line managers. But with version 8.1, there is a new application role implemented. You can see that on the screen, identity manager, employees, administrators. And if you are a member of that specific role, for example, this account, Herwig Abele is, then you can sign into your Stoner Web Portal and you will get immediately the chance to manage people. And therefore we have to step to my responsibilities and there is then the people icon. And in difference to the people I'm directly responsible for, you can see that here I am now able, because I'm a member of that role, to click that specific link and then I'm able directly to manage all people, which is now part of the role allowance because this role allowance gives me the chance just to manage every person object in the database. Without that, I get only the ability to manage my people. That means the people I'm the line manager of. I'm nearly sure you heard about it, that we will just replace our standard web portal and we will just move from one paradigm to another. In the past, the standard web portal was built with a tool called the Web Designer. Web Designer was a really cool tool, especially because it was allowing, once you learned how it works, to build very fast, very stable web portals and to modify them, of course. The disadvantage of the Web Designer was that the Web Designer itself is proprietary technology. There is nothing behind which is similar on the market. And even if you are the best Web Designer in the world, and this time meant as a Web Developer, then you will find a little bit of problem to use the web designer, especially because it is completely different like all other tools you have used before. This was one of the reasons why R&D decided to move to another technology to find something which is easier to learn, easier to use from people who are already on the market. And this is an angular front. To do so, second part of the story was that web developer are typically struggling with the API of the identity manager. And the reason for it is that to use the standard API of the identity manager is pretty hard if you don't understand the data model behind of the complete installation. 
On the other hand side, to understand the data model means that you just will have in your backpack a lot of information you typically don't need just only for the standard web portal, but it is necessary to understand the API. And because of that, they decided, secondly, to move to a new tool that is called the API Designer. And the API Designer is a tool that allows you to create a new abstraction layer, which is then the new web API. And this is more or less then complete disconnected from the data structure that exists in the One Identity Manager database. In total, that means you will have two developer groups. One are the consultants in a specific project. They design a type of API like the R&D department in our company, which creates the same API. That means at the end, these consultants will create API extensions and R&D will create the base API. And then we will have the group of web developers, which could be a lot of people just somewhere at the customer side, for example, who are pros in developing web fronts and they then can use this API, which again is disconnected from the data model of the identity manager. This is the plan. And now what you get with 8.1. In 8.1 first time, you get the API designer. And the API designer comes with a little small API. But this API is just there to support the support operations portal of the identity manager. You know, operations portal was shipped first time with the last version. That means it is a standard tool and it gets the full support like all the standard tools have. This tool it's developed like described on the basis of new web API and on the basis of Angular. Bad message for all of you, the standard support portal is at present not customizable. This is one of the next steps. Second bad message, the standard web portal, which is the portal everybody uses in your company, is something which is already configured and developed on Web Designer. That means if you want to change this or customize that, you have to use the Web Designer to do so. In the next versions, we will then just extend the API and start to move the standard web portal from Web Designer technology to the technology of Angular development. Because of this, in this video series, we focused just on changes in the standard web portal. We will not talk about the API designer because the API designer is something we will discuss in a complete separate video series, which will then be named web design or API designer or something else. And we will talk in the next step just about the operations portal. Reason behind all of this is that with the identity manager 8.1, we have API designer or shipped on the one hand side, but the only way to do something with that tool is to build something from the scratch because you cannot change the operation support portal and this technology, it's not the technology where the standard web portal is based on. So the only way to do something on your own at present with 8.1 is just to extend the API on your own and to create your own web portal and therefore it's a template project somewhere in the source of the identity manager, but at the end it is more or less technology for one of the next versions. If you start to implement breaking changes and you move from one paradigm to the other, then the question is how long it will take. And it will take the next versions as mentioned. In detail, that means that we will have around about two plus years where the complete old web designer technology keeps supported. We will not implement too many new features in the web designer and the web designer technology, but the complete technology will keep there and can be used or you can customize, for example, your own built web fronts somewhere in projects. After this period of time, the API will be well developed and proved and the complete technology will be ready for the market and will replace the other web designer technology. Once this happens, then it's time as well to redevelop or to move from your old web fronts to a new version.